What I'd like to know is how you differentiate yourselves from other retail and or workshop type enterprises, <coughs> i.e. in your view, what's your USP and hence your competitive edge? Well, I think, you know, we uh, communicate with the public more mm. in, a, in, a, in quite a different way. We try to make the, the premise of Big Off for retail very interesting. Well, it is very interesting. Not, 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 say, not just for sales, but for people to come in, what's look around, on? what's this? Well, I like all your signs. It's very, 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 very different from all the tells you we try to make it amusing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it is. It attracted me in. And it's a very interesting and story. And also, as it? uh, regards the difference between us and other charity shops, we integrate with their customs. Yeah, yeah. Foot. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Oh, yeah, I mean, somebody said the other day about the sameness of shopping now. Yeah, yeah. Boring. It's yeah. like drudgery. Yeah. It's like something you're driven to okay. do. You know, you have to do this. We're trying to bring back the shops that people go, oh, what was that? Entertainment. Oh, we're, 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 we're brand loyal because yeah. it's different. Yeah. It's, it's like I, what I see is a lot of the charity shops all sell the same stuff. Yeah. And what you've got is differentiation. Mm -hmm. So all the, the games, the old tradition, the old. Um, old games, mm. the old telephones, the old um, machines, sewing so machines. machines. Yeah. Affordable sewing machines. Oh, we, have, we have displays of um, mm. antique Abs sewing machines. Absolutely, and phones. Not for sale, yeah. display. Mm. So it's like a museum yeah. as well. It's, it's a cross <laughs> between a museum and you can buy bits of it. <laughs> so you are a pair of old fossils, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm an old ghost as well. Yeah. So, um, so, so, so our USP is that the smile is real. I've actually yeah. wrote it down here. We mean it. Yeah. We are interested in our community. Yeah. We, but, well, all right, yeah. we sell a phone at X pounds. Yeah. But it's something that I tapped into years ago. I, I used to go around to charity shops a lot mm -hmm. because that shopping experience is very different from going to Tesco's. Oh, yeah. You go in a charity shop, you buy something, you get something wonderful. And you know, not only have you got something wonderful, but you've just given some money yeah. to support a cause that needs the money. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's like, it's like, like the double-edged sword in a nice way. Yeah. You're cutting in double both joy. directions. Absolutely. Double the joy. Double whammy. Yeah. And it's so, the same thing here. I'll give you an instance. Okay. You know, we all give to charity, and it's the right thing to do. Mm. I gave. I don't even know what I gave uh, that Deborah shop. I think it was a couple of bucks, mm. and they asked me to fill in a form to give the. the the VAT or whatever, yeah. I filled in this form and about the tax form. form. Tax form. Yeah. I got a letter through the post out of the blue saying, Thanks for your indeed for your donation. Uh, we've made £43.50. Yeah. And I'm thinking, Wowza. Yeah. That made me feel really good. I'd read the book, I got it for Christmas, I gave it away, and it's earned a charity £43.50. <coughs> I went in to see them to scan the barcodes because I couldn't even remember what I gave them. Yeah. And it wasn't, I don't think it was. They got more money than what I believe it was worth. Mm -hmm. So that is the double joy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You've given benefit back to the community and they're making you feel good as well. Definitely. Um, that's good. Absolutely. I mean, we could say this in a million different ways. At the end of the day, we're offering a unique shopping experience. So that's, that <laughs> sounds nice. awful. It just sounds it's so pat now. But we don't all the shops are the same, are they? Something all different, the, all something unusual, same. something interesting. You know? And not only, though, when you think about it, it's not just about selling something. You might not sell something. The interaction with the local community gets them to realise that what we're doing is helping our local community. Okay. You know, it's not, it's it's everything we're doing because there is a cause. That the only reason we didn't become a charity is because charities have to have a focus. single cause. They must focus on that cause yeah. and nothing else. Yeah. The only reason we didn't become a charity is because charities need to focus in onto a single cause. They have to meet very, very strict criteria for that. Whereas we needed this freedom, if you like, to pursue yeah, lots like of a, different like things. Model, the typical model so it makes it more interesting for you as well. Yeah, yeah, the typical model for starting a business is you come up with a good idea, mm. you sell that idea to a bank mm. and through a business plan. You say it's it's going to work, you know, and, and and I want you to invest in me. What we've in fact done, we've sat down, we've created something from nothing, and we are still experimenting. In mm. fact, I think this company will be an experiment. Forever. Yeah, great. It, it will like never that. stop learning. It will never I stop changing and, and trying things and failing. 
yeah, winning and, and failing and learning. And, and everybody that yeah. gets involved will be learning in that process. Okay. So it really is benefiting the well, last. I'm really enthused by it. Yeah.